But I'm telling you, there's liberty for you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ through repentance, by accepting what the Lord has done for you, how he has qualified you, how he has made you worthy with his own blood. Start fellowshipping the truth. Start choosing to move past your past and into your present. Somebody said, didn't you mean to say into your future? You can't move into the future until you are willing to embrace the present. You've got to begin to recognize that God is moving today. He is an on-time God. Yes, he is. He never misses an appointment. He never shows up 10 minutes too late. He's an on-time God. He is a now God, and he has a now word for you in your life. He is not just a God of history, but the scripture says that he is a present help in the time of need. Do you presently need the Lord's help? Then step past your past. Make up your mind, I'm going to meet Jesus Christ, who is the same yesterday, and today and forever. I'm going to believe that he has come to deliver me from my past failure, from my past hurts and wounds. You know, uh, folks, I know there's some of you watching this program today. You've been so wounded, so hurt, so disappointed, so let down, so betrayed. Your life, you have known great pain and great sorrow and I, I'd like to say how sorry I am. I mean that from the bottom of my heart. I'm sorry for your pain. I, I really feel compassion toward you in your pain and in your wounds and the hurts of your past. I know there have been people who have let you down. I myself have let people down, not always being able to be what they needed me to be at that moment. I know what it feels like also to be let down. And I am, I'm so sorry that you had to feel that and walk through that and experience that. But I'm even more sorry that it has paralyzed you. I'm even more sorry that the enemy has used all of that stuff to keep you locked in a death structure. And I've come today to tell you, you don't have to live under a structure of death. You don't have to be locked in a prison in a stronghold of Satan. Jesus Christ has come that you might have life. Let's quote the whole thing. The thief, that's who we're talking about. He cometh not but for to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But Jesus said, I am come that you might have life. Say that with me. Life. Life. It's no life when you're locked in your past. It's no real life when you're, when you're living as a prisoner to a structure of death all around you. You can't break free. Jesus said, I am come that you might have life and that you might have it more abundantly. I want to declare to you today in the most holy name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ that he has made a way for you and I to have not only life but abundant life, more abundance in our life. God has made that available. If you can recognize how the enemy has built this structure, scaffolding around your life that only leads to death and that he has built that scaffolding, that structure on the foundation of the past. What a scam. What a scam artist the devil is to build this structure of death or smack dab in the middle of, of your past knowing that you have not been able to get through your past to live in the present and to reach for the future. He then attempts to take that and establish a strategy that becomes a structure resulting in abandonment or death of vision and abortion of destiny, hope deferred. Let me read it again. He then attempts to establish a strategy that becomes a structure 
resulting in abandonment or death of vision. You know, some of you, God has given you hope for your future. God's given you vision for ministry, how you might help others, how you might serve others. Well, the devil doesn't want you moving ahead to obey God because he knows that if you begin to move in obedience to the call and the plan of God in your life, it's going to release the abundance. It's going to release the blessing and the devil doesn't want you to be blessed of God. He doesn't want you operating in the abundant life. He wants to shrink you. He wants to pull you back and pull you down. But Jesus wants to increase you. He wants to expand you into his vision for your life. You know, it, it's true. Sometimes we get the wrong vision for our future. Sometimes in our human effort, we come up with the wrong plan. But I'm willing, I pray you'll be also willing to trade in my vision for my life for his vision for my life.